Hi, I'm Amanda from the Williams Sonoma Test Kitchen. So I've got the striped shirt on, my hair is up in a French twist, so I think it's time to make crepes, right? Today I'm using the Duvier Crepe Pan Kit, and it makes making this French favorite so easy. Let's get started. I've been preheating my Duvier Crepe Pan over medium-low heat. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of butter in it and let that melt really quickly. The difference between this crepe pan and a regular pan is the low edges, which is perfect for flipping crepes. It's also shaped perfectly for crepes. The up-tilted handle makes it easy to swirl the batter around in the pan. It's made of carbon steel, which ensures quick and even heating. Over time, this seasoned pan will also become non-stick. I like to make my crepe batter in a blender. I add milk, eggs, salt, and flour and blend that up really well. Then rest that for two to eight hours in the refrigerator. I'm using a one-third cup measure to keep my crepes consistent and thin. My butter has melted over on my crepe pan. I'm gonna gently pour this right in the middle and give the pan a quick swirl. This helps to keep my crepes really thin and consistent throughout. I'm gonna let this crepe cook for about a minute and a half on this side, and then I'm gonna take my crepe paddle and flip it over and cook it for about 30 seconds on the other side. My crepe is a little dry on top, which means it's ready to flip. This crepe paddle gives me the leverage to flip my crepe without breaking it. It's gorgeous, it has those beautiful speckled colors and means it's ready to go. I'm gonna let it cook for another 30 seconds and then I'm ready to eat it. So a real French person I'm sure could flip a crepe. I'm not sure if I can, but let me try. I think they're ready to go. One of my favorite things about crepes is the filling. You could do a savory crepe by adding ham and cheese or sweet crepe with a little dust of sugar and some lemon zest. But today I'm gonna use Nutella and bananas. Perfect, I have a nice healthy portion of Nutella. I'm gonna to top it with some bananas. Make sure to add your filling to only one half of the crepe. That way when you fold it, you can make sure to eat it in bites. So I'm gonna give it a fold over. And you can definitely leave it like this, but it might be easier to eat if you fold it into fours. Head on over to williamsnova.com to get the crepe recipe and also check out the Duvier Crepe Pan Kit. Also, I wanna know what your favorite crepe fillings are. Leave it in the comment section below.